Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedasp.net. It's time for my next video from my current series about clean and testable C-sharp code. Before we begin and get into Visual Studio, I would like to tell you that if you haven't done it already, you should turn on the notification bell for my channel because you don't want to miss any of my future C-sharp lessons. So let's start and the current video will be about third-party libraries in our code. You may be already familiar, but we are using a block web application in which the code is written with, mm, no, with, without the best practices in mind, dependencies are fixed, the code is not testable, and what we are doing here, we are showing techniques to improve the code and write unit tests for it. So third-party libraries in this project, a third-party library is AutoMapper. Currently, when I want to execute some query against the database, it maps to a model and the configuration, the mapping configuration is from a static class. So let's try to assert that. I'm going to assert this method, which essentially calls the method below, which essentially calls the auto mapper. I'm going to open block test, I'm going to open services, and I'm going to add another test for this service. Public async task, because all my methods are asynchronous and I'm going to say O oh, should return correct values with correct articles with default parameters. So let's arrange it. If you remember correctly, we have a get article service method here which allows us to get the service and use a fake block db context for it. So I'm going to say var article service equals await this get article service with some database name which will be all articles with default parameters. Something like that. Okay, then what I need to do, I need to call var uh, articles equals await article service dot o and I would need to assert something. Let's see how much fake articles I have. I have two fake articles. So if this method is executed, it should get only the public articles, so maybe that means that I would need to make one of these articles public. And I'm going to say assert equal expected articles dot count. I expect at least one article. Okay. There is some suggestion here. I want to see it. Third single. Okay, that's cool. When you have a single, a single element in collection it will assert that it's, uh, that it's that the collection contains only one element. Okay, so I'm going to get it and I'm going to assert that the article is essentially the one with the ID equal to 2. Equal to article.id Okay, assert 
not no article this should be more than enough but if I try to run the code I'm going to see that I have an exception and the exception comes from old mapper mapper not initialized co initialized and so on so my third party library is not working correctly here and I need to fix it but before I fix I fix the old mapper problem I would like to show you where you can find the following code which I'm using as my example just go to my github profile it's Ivai Lukenov go to repositories write down TV here and that's the repository in which I'm uploading all of my uh, video lesson source code there are links for every lesson and the source code which is used in that lesson so make sure you check it out I would be extremely thankful if you give the project a star you may also watch it because usually I upload videos here before they are published in on YouTube so you may find the lesson before it's available for everyone else and also I would like to thank my sponsors which are Bellatrix, Resharper and JetBrains, Softuni, SmartIT, NobleHire and OneBit Software you should check these companies they're really great thank you guys you truly rock now let's come back to Visual Studio and fix our issue if you remember from one of my previous videos static calls are not great and we should skip them or if we cannot skip them if the code is third party like here we may introduce an interface which wraps the static calls so one of the solutions here is to wrap the mapper uh, the mapper class around uh, an instance class which uses an interface and that interface should be injected right here fortunately for us auto mapper uh, already comes with a built-in interface so we can use it directly and I'm going to say that I don't want to use a fixed dependency like this a static method call I would like to use an injected dependency which comes from the outside world for this class so I mapper mapper and I need to say that I have this dot mapper equals mapper cool I need to be sure that the iMapper interface is registered and fortunately for me this is already done by calling add auto mapper to the service provider so there is no problem about that okay and what I need to do I need to say that I am no longer going to use the static method and the static class I'm going to use the instance one this will make my code easier to test and easier to replace so my so my de my dependencies in this class will be replaceable and testable this is essentially the idea here okay so let's go to the article service test and now this code here is no longer working what I need to do is I need to provide an iMapper implementation all my service related uh, mappings are registered through the service mapping profile here so I need to provide the same mapping profile to my test and the test should 
start working correctly. Okay, let's create a mapper. I'm going to say that I'm going to create a new mapper and the new mapper wants a mapper configuration and that configuration can specify the service mapping profile I'm using in my services project. So essentially I'm creating a mapper and I can pass it to my article. Great, let's see whether the test passes now. Great, my test passes. So what you learned from this video is that if you need to use a static class from a third party library, you should extract it to an interface. Fortunately for us, that interface was already provided by AutoMapper. So what I needed to do is to fake its, um, its configuration and the easiest way to fake the auto mapper configuration is to just create a new mapper by the mapping profile which is used in this test. Okay, and before I finish my video, I would like to run all tests to make sure that everything is working correctly. Great, everything is fine. So I didn't uh, break anything while I refactored the article service. Before I finish, I would like to tell you and show you my open source projects which are related to ASP.NET Core. They are uh, testing libraries which allows you to write very easy and very fast tests against your application components, controllers, models, services, whatever you like, you can test it in a very simple and easy manner. These projects are created during my free time so what I do is I accept donations and sponsors on Patreon or Open Collective. So if your company or if you are interested you may support me or support this channel because I am essentially providing free education for everyone and I intend to uh, make a lot more videos and all of these videos are going to be absolutely free. So I will be extremely thankful if you decide to support me. Even a single star on my project counts. So thank you for that. And if you like this video or this video series, let me know down below in the comments and hit the like button. Thank you guys and bye.